Hi there, it's Tim, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the InMotion S1. I'm gonna share with you what I like, what I don't like. I'm gonna to tour around Victoria and share with you all those wonderful things. So the InMotion S1 has a 500 watt motor at the back, and the battery is 675 watt hours. And that's right there in the deck. The combination of a 500 watt motor at the back and a large battery in the deck means you've got range for days and enough power to get you up and down those small hills. And with a big guy like myself, pretty decent range. Now they advertise 60 miles, but you know, for somebody my size, I would be lucky to get about half that, maybe even a little less. One of the things I really like are the 10 inch tires. Really comfortable. Really easy going over the bumps. You hit those cobblestones, nice and smooth. That coupled with the really nice shocks, big shocks at the front, and the flexibility, oh, love it. He's a very pretty horse. He's like the perfect Budweiser <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One of the things that the S1 has is pretty awesome lighting. And it's just at the right height, you know, that waist height, I like that. And it has a brake light at the back, but at nighttime, the under lighting is quite awesome. And the InMotion S1 has an IP rating of 55. So what's it like to break down, carry up some stairs? I'll show you. Really simple to uh, break down, press the button, it releases. Oh, I'm gonna turn it off too, because and you just I'll drop it into its slot here at the back. And now it's ready to go. Um, probably a two-hander, you know, if you're big and strong, maybe a one-hander. Pretty heavy, it's about 50 pounds, but here we are. Okay for a few, few stairs, especially if you're gonna use both hands. But uh, yeah, mobile, not super light though at 50 pounds. And putting it back together again, super fast. Up it goes, lock into place, turn on the power, and you're out of here. So, what don't I like about the S1? Let me show you. There are only two things that I don't like about the InMotion S1. One of them may seem really minor, but let me just show you anyway. It does have two charging ports, which, hey, that's awesome. But the little rubber things, they never seem to line up with the holes. So it always takes me a few moments to just make them sick, stick in there. So that's a minor thing. So as the bridge goes up in the background, it reminds me of a geometry. And that's the second thing I'm not a big fan of, the geometry of the actual stem. In gear number one, or eco, it goes fairly slowly. In gear number two, which is uh, drive, I find that works really well. It goes around 20, four kilometers an hour, maybe 15 miles an hour. And gear number three, about another five miles an hour faster. But what I have noticed is that in gear number three, the speed, I get a little bit of a wobble. And I think that's because of the geometry of the, of the actual scooter itself. So what I tend to do is I tend to ride it in gear number two or just regular drive, and I have absolutely no problems whatsoever. So those are the only two things. While I mentioned the things I didn't like about the InMotion S1, I do want to share with you that there are a whole bunch of things I really like about it. Let's sit down and have a chat about it. So, what do I like about the InMotion S1? I like a lot of things about it. I love the battery size. A nice big battery really helps with range, range anxiety even. Number two, I like the tires. They're 10 inch. They're pneumatic, but they're tubeless. And I've already had the experience of having a flat. And I gotta tell you, having a flat with tubeless tires is so much easier. It took me about three or four minutes to fix it. No problem, I didn't have to take the tire off the wheel. None of that stuff. Love that.
The suspension on it is lovely, very soft, very comfortable. The deck is plenty, uh, plenty large enough for my big feet. Um, the folding mechanism, uh, it works. Um, it's a bit heavy. So as I said, it's about 50 pounds, but uh, having two chargers or two charging ports, that's kind of nice. So if you have two charging bricks, you can you know, double the speed at which you are charging. The last thing is the app. The app's actually really good too. Uh, it shares with you things, you know, details about the, the unit, how far it's gone, those sorts of things. Uh, and it gives you a really accurate um, portrayal of how much battery life there is left. So I like that. Uh, the handlebars, the handle grips were very comfortable. It has um, drum brake at the front and uh, regen braking at the back, which was completely adequate. Uh, I had no issues whatsoever with that. Uh, I know I mentioned that the, the, it had a little bit of a wiggle. I was just riding around right now and trying out the sport mode. It's not such a big deal. I mean, it's it's a little bit unstable um, if you're going down a hill a bit too quickly, but uh, overall, not a big deal really. A uh, little bell up top. I'm actually really happy with it. Um, I think if you're looking, if you're a big guy like myself, you don't have a whole lot of hills, then I think the power in this motor, plenty, the battery's gonna give you that peace of mind. I'm really happy with it. So the S1, definitely big guy approved.